welcome to the Mark Howard Limited video instructions for the 24x8 freestanding aluminium goal. The goal has been laid out in two halves. The base section consists of the runbacks, back bar and wheels. The top section consists of the crossbar, uprights and zinc net supports. Laying the goal out as shown will make the process of assembly quicker and easier. For tightening the nuts and bolts you will need to provide a 17mm ratchet and a 17mm spanner. Starting on the top section, slide the internal corner joint into the upright and the crossbar. Slide in a total of 7 T-bolts, 4 along the upright and 3 along the crossbar. Place a plastic spacer on the far left crossbar T-bolt and slide together. Next, place an L-plate over four of the T-bolts and tighten using three 10mm nuts and three 10mm washers. As you can see, one of the T-bolts has been left. This is for the net support, which we will attach later. Attach the 90 degree angle bracket to the furthest T-bolt on the upright and position about halfway down. Tighten using a 10mm nut and a 10mm washer. Moving to the base of the goal, we will carry out a very similar process. Fit an internal corner joint into the back bar and the run back, leaving a gap to fit the T-bolts. Slide six T-bolts onto the run back. Push two of the T-bolts down the run back and place four plastic spaces onto the remaining four. These are for the wheels. Slide another two T-bolts onto the run back and two onto the back bar and fit an L-plate. Tighten using three 10mm nuts and three 10mm washers, leaving one T-bolt free for the net support. Place the rear wheel onto two T-bolts and align the handle with the back bar L-plate, tightening using two 10mm nuts. For the second wheel, only loosely fit it onto the run back as this will be adjusted later. Insert an internal corner joint into the end of the run back. To build the net supports, place the curved end of the net brace onto the net support and tighten using a 50mm bolt, 10mm nut and a 10mm washer. Fit the net support to the T-bolts on the crossbar using two 10mm nuts and two 10mm washers. Thank you. 
repeat the process for the other side. We recommend two people to fit the net. Clip the net to the aluminium using the net hooks provided. Tie the net to the net supports with the orange cord. Repeat the process for the other side. Using two people, pick up the front of the goal and fit it to the internal corner joints. This is where the 90 degree angle bracket comes in handy. Use it as a handle to slot the sections together. Loosen off the 90 degree angle bracket and slide it into the corner. Using one of the T-bolts placed on the lower section, tighten the 90 degree angle bracket into place using a 10mm nut. Place a plastic spacer onto the remaining two T-bolts and fix the bottom brace into place using two 10mm nuts and two 10mm washers. The gap between the 90 degree angle bracket and the bottom brace is about 20 centimeters, or the length of a normal sized ratchet. Fix the net support to the back corner plate using a 10mm nut and a 10mm washer. Tighten up the remaining wheels with two 10mm nuts. Leave a small gap about the size of a net hook between the wheel and the bottom brace. Clip the rest of the net to the uprights, run backs and back bar. Pull the handles over on the easy lift wheels to raise the goal. Once the goal is in position, pull the handles over to lower the goal into its final position. <laughs>